Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Um, today is day two since my septoplasty and bilateral nasal turbinate reduction surgery. Um, I had a pretty rough night last night trying to get comfortable to find a good position to sleep at. I wasn't used to sleeping at a 30 degree angle um, and um, not used to sleeping on my back. So, and then that band-aid thing, I just, it's kind of annoying, not gonna lie to keep it on all the time. I took it off this morning and um, haven't put it back on since. I kind of just like take a tissue with me and if anything starts to drip, I just use that instead. Um, I don't really feel that I necessarily need it anymore. Um, I'm getting ready to do some of my nasal sprays. I have um, this Ocean brand saline nasal spray um, I've been doing this three times a day but they said that you can't overdo it so yeah I'm going to try to do this right now squirt it and make sure um, that it's coming out okay and then kind of breathe in whenever you um, squirt it into your nostril. And the other one. You might find that you might drip some blood while doing that. It's completely normal. And um, also, I said uh, that I do the Afrin spray. I only do that like twice a day. It's supposed to stop, you know, from yourself from bleeding any more than I guess that you need to. But that's the one that I've been using, the no drip one. It's supposed to prevent it from going down the back of your mouth. Oh yeah, and speaking of stuff going back down the back of your mouth, last night that was also an issue. Like I kept having the post nasal drip with the blood and stuff, and that was really. Like, I felt like I was going to choke on that stuff, so. But I eventually fell asleep, probably thanks to the Vicodin. And um, today my nose is looking a bit puffy. I didn't wake up with that much pain. I've been staying on top of the Vicodin. Like, I set my alarm for 1 in the morning, ate some crackers with it so I wouldn't get sick. And, um, yeah, then I set it again, my alarm again for 7 this morning to take it. So yeah, I think the Vicodin is helping a lot, but then I was feeling nauseous and dizzy again today. Um, so that comes and goes really. And then lastly, I put on my nose um, the Bacitracin ointment that I got. Um, I'm just using the CVS brand. And, oops, I guess that kind of looks upside down, but... Um, yeah, so I'm using the bacitracin, and you just take this and open it up, and uh, i just been putting it like down at the bottom of my nose, not really going in it because it's for external use only, and you're not supposed to put your finger in your nose anyway. So yeah, I just kind of spread that around down there, keeps it, I guess moist and there's an antibiotic in it and I've been taking um, two tablets my Vicodin once every six hours like I said that's probably why I'm having minimal pain and my recovery is going so well but yeah so um, for breakfast I had some pudding and a piece of toast um, I'll probably be having like some chicken noodle soup for lunch and I plan on going out to dinner tonight with my friends so